What is Gucci YouTube? It's your boy Black Tree. I got three long face skinny five D. We are back still black with some more fire for to anime manga content. Now before we get in the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash the like button, share the video with your friends, keep running it up. Yes, sir, skin. Let's hop right into the business. Nine mountains and eight seas make one world. One thousand worlds make one trillion. One chilio cost them to the power of three, and there's nothing I can't cut. Okay, something I've been seeing around the community, uh, all of my fellow Uchihas have been very highly disappointed, not just my Uchihas, but a lot of the fans of the story in general have been disappointed in the progression of not only Sarada's character, but some of her actions as of late, especially in the Boruto manga, specifically uh, revolving around the use of her Sharingan. And we know that there's a lot of controversial issues around it in terms of some of the facts that have been laid out about the situation and a couple of hearsay, you know what I'm saying? So just starting off with the facts, we know right in the manga Sarada popped up in that Boro fight three Tomoe stacked on deck ready to snap somebody's head off their neck and she proceeded to do as such with Boro's core in the midst of that fight now upon the anime we understand Sarada was only rocking the two Tomoe telling niggas like yo I don't need to go full power to let you know like who's really gonna be rocking the show and Sarada bodied this man Boro of course with the help of team seven with her two Tomoe Sharingan and Benoit in the anime versus the manga which she had her three tumor now in the anime we understand how she unlocked her two tumor in that deeper fight Mwah, episode 175 hands down beautiful um awesome fight bro i ain't gonna lie that was one of the best that was the best anime only arc that whole entire deeper car actuation arc fire gas but we've seen the determination behind sarada's character and her uh evolve of the her involvement of the uh sharingan is that the right word i'm not saying involve i'm saying evolve is this like what's the verb nouns for like evil evolvement i don't know the evolve evolution evolution of her sharingan right so we've seen that uh take place in the deeper fight in terms of her efforts to protect Take Boruto taking a crazy ass attack that honestly the way it looked like it looked like Boruto was in some real trouble uh sitting on the ground taking that attack from my guy Deepa but Sarada was able to manage that no 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 problems as she was still on her two feet after she took the attack so honestly she really could have just let my nigga Boruto handle that or right right just get smacked with it up, up top of his head but long story short she was able to unlock her Sharingans through these conventional means understanding in the novel she unlocked her third hormone throughout a training with uh Sasuke and I each and every single one of these moments when she unlocked her first hormone the first awakening of her Sharingan her second hormone her third hormone they all deal with revolving with someone around she loves and her eager desire in order to you know what I'm saying do something Thing in that situation the first time it was her desire and her yearningness in order to see Sasuke for the first time as a kid now mind you it wasn't in the Sarada Gaiden art because she been had her shining gun she just wasn't aware of it but Sakura did state she awakened at a very young age because of her eagerness to meet Sasuke and learn more about her dad and then we see uh, when she actually sees Sasuke for the first time she reawakens her first shining gun when she opens her second shining gun it's her love for Boruto and her desire to protect them and also her desire to be the Hokage understanding ninjas in this generation I'm gonna have to look up to her regardless of the strength differences so she's gonna have to step up in that guard and she was able to uh um, awaken her second tomo through the love and the protection the desire to protect Boruto and that means and then in the third scene uh with her Sharingan her third tomo Sharingan awakening in the novels it was her desire in order to not just show the progress to Sasuke that she's been making but she's been enjoying the training the intense training she's been getting with Sasuke all of that mix of emotions basically help evolve her Sharingan into three tomos in the midst of that novel now understanding the anime now where it takes off from here because these events all take place before the Boro fight but now we are way past that and ever since the Boro fight we have not seen Sarada use her Sharingan at all in the manga and there was a good explanation at first being that the anime director did come out stating that he had a special plan for Sarada's uh Sharingan in order how to we see her unlock her third Tomo and Sharingan that was very clearly stated in an interview now the hearsay comes in the fact that the arc was actually written for Sarada to unlock her third Tomo Sharingan but it was actually scrapped as well now that is where the hearsay comes I'm not too sure where that ultimate rumor traces back to but 
a couple of the sources, a couple of the things you can find online basically state that because we understand and even upon me hearing upon the uh, first revelation that, oh, this dude, the anime director had a plan for the guy who took over during the car actuation arc. He had a plan for Sarah to unlocking her third Tomo Sharingan and he came out and he said that, right? So apparently the arc that was initiated for that got scrapped and now they're in the situation that they're in right now where the manga is too afraid to show Sharada with a Sharingan because they don't know if they should show her with the third Tomo or a two Tomo understanding that they will be backtracking because she has the third Tomo already in the manga and in the anime they don't know how to you know what I'm saying please the fans in terms of anytime they would show her Sharingan is gonna have to be the two Tomo but then that's when the questions are gonna start circulating well if she still has a two Tomo in the anime why haven't we seen it in the manga and not only why haven't we seen it in the manga but why does she even have a three Tomo in the manga it's just a whole bunch of confusion at this point so it's real practical reasons as to why we haven't seen it and it sucks there's nothing more to it in terms of like the writers just can't find a way to fit this shit in now in terms of how it is affecting the story they're doing it in the sense of like sarada hasn't really been in any type of situation to where it garners her to activate her sharingan in the case of when she confronted both boruto and kawaki you see in the means of not sarada being ready to have smoke like since when was sarada been like that the first person to step on the battlefield and throw the first punch and activate her shine like sarada has always been on mediator right uh, observer in terms of seeing the things that's going on assessing the situation and then acting upon that assessment so when she sees not even when she sees when she first hears that kabuki not only killed boards on the past but he's trying to do so again right now from her perspective we have all of the information we have all of the knowledge that's going down in this story so from sarada's eyes it's like whoa nah i can't like i mean kabuki he's a little edgy but like nigga we done went on missions together right like we done done all this shit together there's no way so she has to go see for herself and upon actually seeing the actions go down for herself that's when the things start to uh, become a little more clear to her but still in the sense of disbelief meaning that she sees this as a situation similar to chapter 58 where like team seven is just having a squabble and they could talk it out so she shoots the fireball at kawaki in the middle of him trying to attack boruto in order to de-escalate the situation and actually gather all of the information for herself so she doesn't just be out of the loop in terms of having any pre-bias or pre-judgment on the entire situation so seeing kawaki really trying to actively not just fight boruto but kill this man is something that's not that she's not prepared for so when she steps in front of kawaki similar to how it's in the training scenes similar to how it's in the other scenes where we see sara to protect boruto without activating her shining gun it's more of a way to make a stance like all right what's going on here rather than like yeah let's 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 let's, let's activate the smoke right but i do believe it's a little bit of both they don't know what to do with her shining gun but also it wasn't really needed in the scene and then the spoilers also kind of took it out of context when we first seen kawaki confront sara that she didn't have her shining gun even motherfuckers like me was like bro why isn't her sharingan active in the middle of this type of situation but then with more context related it makes sense as to like kara she wasn't there actively fighting this guy kawaki now you can argue in the training session in chapter 58 she didn't activate her sharingan and then i can still argue again well at that point in time kawaki did just try to box her out of nowhere and at the end of the day it was like two punches thrown between her and kawaki and the real fight was between kawaki and boruto so there's no point in activating your sharingan in that situation now i believe that we will start to see sarada sharingan become more actively used once the anime figures out a way to implement her third tomo in without it seeming like an ass pull and honestly they missed up on a couple of opportunities despite the fact that her art did get scrapped for how she would awaken it the funato ass clan art y'all know i don't so Support that arc whatsoever when boruto gave his life away she could have activated it then there was a definitely a good amount of times and then even in the previous chapter if they wanted to just go ahead and debunk everything we've seen in the brawl fight in terms of her shining gun they could have let boruto get the eye scar and then sara to automatically open her eyes and we see the three tone shining gun and that could be the moment right there and then we see the anime just animated and just go with the flow like all right that's her activating the three tone shining gun honestly those are two good opportunities that they passed up on both in the anime with the funato clan arc and both in the manga recently in last chapters where boruto got his scars so as for when we will see sarada with the sharingan at this point now that we see the last chapter was the best opportunity for the manga to re-implement her sharingan in the story i believe the next time we're going to see it is going to have to be in the anime as for when because we know she plays a minimal role in this code arc so there's really no other way for her to unlock the sharingan unless the anime is going to completely change the scene where boruto gets his scar and she opens her eyes with the three tomo upon looking at the blood dripping down from boruto face right onto her body because that's essentially the stance that she took but 
but in that scene, we don't see no Sharingan Sarada. If we're going to be completely honest, I believe it would make more sense for her to activate her Sharingan in that moment versus the moment where she confronted Kaoki. But that's just my stance. All in all, I do believe the next time we're going to see her eyes activate is not going to be in the manga, but rather the anime and then the manga will follow up in terms of how the anime decided to proceed. There's just too much confusion regarding around it. And I honestly hate the fact that it has to deal with my favorite character because, you know, all my Uchiha's right here with it. And don't forget to join the Discord. My man Genki Uchiha's is already in there and we live and we active. Yes, sir. Get your boy Black Chia 3. Let me know how y'all feel honestly about Sarada and her showering on progression and the confusion in terms of how it's dealt with in the anime and how it's dealt with in the manga. And what do y'all honestly think y'all should they should do with her character in terms of having the three tournament showering on and even going further upon saying things like the Mangekyo and eternal Mangekyo showering on. It's your boy Black Chia 3. Long face, skinny body holla at your boy comment below share the video with your friends and i'ma holla at y'all black chat out your sir ski hey, can we take a trip to the sky show them that our limits too high pop up all the hips on the wrist she said